Hello and welcome to today's video. No, no one could ever accuse me of being well planned or organised, um, but sometimes it's very useful in photography to have a plan B. Um, on this occasion, I actually had a plan B, which is really handy. Uh, initially, I was supposed to be going to uh, Devon to photograph some woodland, um, but various circumstances, um, and I had to postpone that and think of another plan. Um, I didn't actually have to think too hard because um, I already had a plan. So we decided to stay closer to home and go to Sandgate, which is a small coastal town in Kent. Now, it's a shot I visited in the past, um, but the weather was uh, not helpful for a great shot. Um, I've always wanted to take a very minimalist style of photography here. Now, on the occasion um, I previously went, I think it was 2013, um, the English Channel was absolutely flat as a pancake. Um, nice as a visitor, not so nice as a photographer. So anyway, here's the photo I took those many years ago. As you can see, that it's okay. I mean, it's one of those posts in the sea. Um, but the sea's dead calm. It's very, very bright. Um, and it was really a scouting expedition. And I've never, never, up until now, revisited that photo and done what I, I really wanted to do with it um, but with the Devon thing falling through it's it gave me the opportunity to re revisit so anyway getting to Kent it was very very windy it was very very choppy and it was, it was the conditions I actually really really wanted um, unfortunately it was too windy for me to photo uh, video this on the beach because the triper was just blowing over it. The wind noise was dreadful. Um, and also I had a bit of a cold and my, I couldn't hardly talk. So I decided to video this uh, part of it at home and, and talk through uh, what I was doing. So anyway, this is um, what I actually saw. This is what I was photographing. You can see how rough the sea was. You can see how blow it was. Uh, I reckon the wind was about gusts of 20 to 30 miles an hour. I mean, that sea was well choppy um, and I was doing my best to hold a tripod steady to actually take the photo. It was, even though I was tri uh, tripod, it was still exceedingly blurry. I think I even hung a, my camera bag on the bottom to give it a bit more ballast, just to, you know, just to steady it as much as possible. So anyway, I got a composition where I decided to use uh, a portrait uh, mode rather than in landscape. Um, I used a 10 stop filter to slow down the um, shutter speed. Um, I, got, I, I went down to 20 seconds. Um, I think I would have liked to have gone a bit slower, but it was even though it was still quite stormy, it was still very uh, bright out there, um, which meant uh, not getting quite as slow as I wanted. Uh, in this shot, I shot down at 20 seconds at ISO 100. Uh, it stopped most of the mo movement. Um, I think ideally I wanted to get to 30 seconds. Wasn't quite there. Um, next time I'll have another filter on me, but unfortunately my filter set I had in, uh, doesn't have a three stop on it. I had a magnetic set and it only has a 10 stop filter, which is a bit uh, limiting in certain uh, situations like this. But this is a picture out of the camera, um, and it's actually more or less what I wanted, so I'm quite happy. So anyway, I treated this photo in Photoshop. Uh, it didn't need a lot. I've uh, adjusted the colors uh, slightly, um, giving it a bit more saturation and contrast. Uh, cloned out a few of the um, dust spots. I also, uh, brought out the red of the post. I'm not sure what those sea posts are called. If anyone knows, please put it in the comments because I'm just going to call it a post in the sea. Um, and I really like the colours. Um, I cropped this down to a 5 by 4 And yeah, really happy in the end. Now also, um, I also did a black and white version of this uh, photo because ultimately it is a minimalist ph photograph. Uh, quite hard to say, uh, even when you're sober. Um, and I, I wanted to put it in black and white, so I put it in black and white, and initially I preferred it. Um, and I sat there staring at it, and I did prefer it. And then over time, I went back to the colour one, and I think I prefer the colour one. I think the colours work really well for such a simple subject. Um, 
I would love to know, love to know what you guys think if you prefer the black and white or the color version. Anyway, that's that's enough for me today. Uh, I like to keep these videos nice and short. Um, got more videos coming shortly. Um, I would love it if you would uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Preferably subscribe to know I'm going in the right direction. Uh, you can do it that on one of those buttons or whatever they have round about there or down there. Just subscribe. Go on, you want to. Anyway, bye.